Stained glass patchwork also includes Celtic work, which is a piece of that I've got in front of me. It's made with quarter inch bias. I've had this while, so this I did by hand. But I think I could have done it on, do it now on the sewing machine. You certainly could. This machine comes with a twin needle facility and in the spare pack of needles that we get with the machine, there is a twin needle in here. Let me just pop it out. They come in varying widths. This is a two millimeter twin needle. Um, so and it's, it's what the machine is designed to work with. Same yeah. D fitting up at the top exactly here. Exactly the same fitting. I've got a five mil one here. And if you can see, oh, slippery little ones. There we go. It's exactly the same fitting on the top. It's just the width between the two needles is different. So, so go this, in the machine yeah, just this, like this. We'll the show needle. you how to, because it threads up slightly differently oh. as well. So I'll show you in a minute how to fit it. The point to remember with this is the defaults on the machine are for the two millimeter twin needle. So we can look at all the different stitches. We're on utility now. This is a twin needle here. So okay. if I just touch that, it brings it into play. So those are all the stitches it's happy for me to use. Use with the twin needle. You can see okay. some are greyed out. Okay. So we've got Don't zigzag. Go yeah. It won't let you. If I go to go to that, it's just nothing will happen. Um, the machine knows. It's very clever and it knows what it doesn't want you to do. Yes. And again, if we look, it will quite often alter the width as well. So that it works with the twin needle. Right. So the swing, it's not going to hit the side of the foot and break. Do we have to pay attention to the foot that's on the there The foot too? I would always use is the presser foot specified anyway. Yes. It gives you the best result. Okay. But there's lots of different stitches that we can use. And you can get some, I'll pop some on here. You can get some really good effects with them. That's just got a variegated thread. Mm, and lovely. most of these are utility stitches. My goodness. I think the, we don't use them as much as we could on the mm. machines. There's some very nice utility stitches on there. But the twin needle yeah. is here is very clear to see yes. your parallel stitching, yeah. isn't it? Serpentine stitches on there, My little goodness. blind hem stitch, which gives you a really good effect. So there's just wow. so many different yes. things you can do with it. But it's being mindful that it is two needles, it's not one. So the swing is very different. Oh, okay. And it also threads slightly differently on the machine. So I oh, think we well need to look and see how we yeah, thread the machine. That would be good to know, yes. We'll pop those there. So for the machine, we do have, with the machine, we get always get a spare spool pin. Mm -hmm. um, and that pops in the top of the machine. If you're not sure, look in the manual. It will always tell you. So again, I'm going to lock the machine out first. So I'm not going to accidentally sew my fingers together. Right, so I'm just going to change the needle now, so I need to use the screwdriver, which I can't find at the moment. Oh, well, I think I've hidden it under <laughs> there here. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so we're just going to take the needle out as we normally would. So it's just a little turn. Don't undo the screw too much, because if you drop the screw, it's terrible to get back in again. And I tend to just pop that into something that I've got around. So again, the twin needle, as you can see, it's only got one shank. So we will pop this in exactly the same way that we would put a normal needle in. So that's the flat D There's to the flat back, to the isn't back. It? I yes. can't get in there. Oh, there we go, it's done. And again, as always, when you pop your needle in, make sure you just give it that tiny little quarter turn. Yeah, with the screw make sure it's, it's important, important isn't Yeah, it, it really is important. Yeah. So the top thread, we've left threaded exactly as it was. Right. The thing to remember with this is we can't use the needle threader. It won't work. So I'm just going to take the thread, snip the end off, and just thread manually with these. Hey, the needle thread, for obvious reasons, won't work. So we'll pop that through. We could be here for some time. I should have brought my tweezers. There we go. That's through. That's that one. There we go. So that's threaded in the left needle as we normally would. The one that's slightly different now is we've got the spare spool stand, spare spool stand on the top. We we'll pop this one on. Does it matter which way the, the thread spins I always off? run off the bottom. There's the odd occasion oh, where you can't. Okay. I just have always yeah, have done. Right. And again, make sure that when you match the spool cap to the size of the spool. Yes. You know, if you're using the large ones, put the larger spool okay. caps on. And point a bit out as well. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many people who've stuck them on yeah, the other way. Yeah, that's because some of them come with a little with holes in the top of the thread, don't they? So people think that... Yeah, yeah if you've got the longer cone, there. there is another spill, little yes. tiny grey spill cap in there that works with that. This one now, we thread exactly the same as we would if we were threading the machine normally. So it's around exactly the same thread path. The big difference here is if I pop the front open, and I don't know if you can see, there's a little metal piece of the slot in here. Yes. And that's where this thread's going to go through. That's the difference, say, thread the top, exactly the same. That comes into there, that did go straight through. There we go, take it through. And we don't need to pop it through the thread guide on the bottom either. 
it literally now will go straight through the needle. So threading is quite important. It's very important. It does explain it step by step in the manual. Your manuals are so, so good. They're I fabulous. And then line drawings, which I yeah, find yes, so much better. And that's it. We're good to go then. Oh, and again, yeah. as long as we've got the twin needle safety feature on the machine working, we're fine. We'll, and we're we'll using the two mil twin needle. We'll be good to so go. now we can unlock the machine. Okay. And, and we're ready to stitch. And do some stitching. Yeah, let me just... So we've got two threads on the top yeah. and we've got one bobbin thread. Yes. So what does it look like on the back? There we go. Um, Pop them over. Yep. It will look like that because the one... But if you'd have tightened the tension up on there, it would have pulled the threads okay. together and given a little bit of a raised effect. If you look on the jacket here, you can see you've got a slightly raised effect on it. Just tighten the tension. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and yes. Normally we would think that the tension yeah. was wrong, yes. but, but for this sort of stitch, that it's you're getting a trapunto look. Yes, aren't you? you are, because you've got yes. the two on the top and just the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom. So yes, it's yes. my usual, just right on everything. No, I think that's <laughs> absolutely perfect. Um, but absolutely again, you know, you can perfect. get some really good features with quite a basic stitch as well. I absolutely love this one. It's that this, the triple stitch. So, yeah. So utility stitches. A lot of us think they're just for real basic use but they could be very versatile. You told me that was for elastic. I don't sew it anything It is for elastic, elastic I don't sew elastic on. But equally, you can Look see, that. it's a beautiful stitch. And again, we can just lock it off and it'll cut as well. So the locking off stitch is the end of a pattern. It's always the end of a pattern. It does little stitches on the spot yes, and it and, locks and it, it and ties it and off. And ties there. it off, I know. So we've got a really Lovely. good secure finish. Yes. But equally, we can go through into different categories. Um, let's have a look. We'll have a look at quilt stitches again. Why not? And you can see how many of these are greyed out. Oh. That's because they're not going to work, work with this with function. So it's a really good safety needle. feature yes. on it. And again, okay. should we have a go with the serpentine? We Absolutely. know we love yeah, the serpentine yeah, stitch. We do. And if you look, it's altered the width of the stitch okay. to three mil. Right. So that it will actually so work with these work. needles. That's why it's very important if you're going to use a different width, you need to test it before. And has it changed the foot? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, so the F foot. I'm being yes. naughty. I've left the A foot on for this. Okay. But yeah, um, we're only on a single layer. So again, lock stitch. And you can see that's going to stop. Lovely. And cut. I quite often use a twin needle for finishing quilt seams and it just gives you a really nice different effect. So you That's could really use some super. variegated threads. Like and again, that. you know, just use the centre of the foot as your seam guide so you've got even on either side. Absolutely, absolutely. And for our stained glass, there's a couple of bits. This is just really easily cut. And again, I've used the 5mm twin needle for this. Um, and now with that, you will see it's a lot wider, yes. the gap. I only ever use this on a straight stitch, and I would never go any wider than a 5mm. Yeah. Um, and again, keep the speed down a little bit, and it just makes it so quick and easy to stitch. Pa it, is, it is parallel line stitching, it is, isn't it? It is, and it just makes it yes. easy. So you've got the yeah. lovely rainbow one there, yeah. some variegated, yeah. or just a plain black for your stained glass. Super, super, yeah, with Yes, yeah. absolutely lovely. Well, I'm certainly going to give that a go.